Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel Star Power Azul and Super Academico and today I'm going to do a little review from the movie uh, The Marvels that we, we watched last week and I thought it would be nice to talk about some details of the movie that uh, called my attention it's a positive review, okay? and before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to both channels give the like comment share and if you can support the channel too that's uh, with the, the policy uh, link that's right there now in the spot então, vamos ajudar o super acadêmico aqui no apoia-se é só você clicar aí na primeira link da descrição que você chega lá no apoia-se e pode apoiar o canal a partir de um real agora você pode ajudar com um pouquinho mais com essa nova premiação aqui com meu novo livro sex habilidades se você apoiar a partir de 40 reais apenas 40 reais você ganha como recompensa um exemplar aqui do livro sex habilidades os relatos secretos do Abel Marx e sua experiência com garotos de programas disponível no clube de autores você pode também pedir ele pelo clube de autores que é o segundo link na descrição do vídeo mas apoiando o canal no apoia-se você vai ter direito a ele de graça, né? apenas apoiando o canal e aí você tem direito a um exemplar. Então, vá lá, clica no link e apoia o canal. Agora vamos ao conteúdo do vídeo. Well, that was the spot from a policy. I hope you can take a look. But let's go to the review. Uh, the movie, né? The Marvels, is a, a movie, movie part of the, the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe and tells the the story, I will not give spoilers, but uh, the, the story of three superheroes actually, né? the Captain Marvel, the Miss Marvel and Captain Rumble <laughs> that join forces against uh, a, a villain that, that's called Arbane. It's a woman, it's a Cree woman that uh, tries trying to do some, some things that are dangerous for the people so I won't give any spoilers but uh, it's basically the, the story is a uh, superhero history uh, very very straightforward but I think what's more important in the, the movie is the uh, is the new thing of uh, uh, a team up movie with uh, three superheroes three uh, women and uh, three women that uh, I, I think is that never has happened before uh, first we have Captain Marvel that come back from the, the first movie uh, in their in her participation in the, the uh, in the last two Avengers movie and she is kind of a lone uh, lone superhero that acts in the the cosmos and the galaxy, the space, and the, uh, she always has this, this superior attitude that many people, um, especially uh, uh, men, doesn't like very much because she's so so powerful, uh, so extremely powerful, and she have to develop this relationship with two other women super powerful women one is uh, her niece and uh, niece i think from the first movie that's uh, the daughter of her friend Ke the other <laughs> captain rambo that come back in this movie as an adult in the first movie she was a child uh, a small child with uh, eight ten years old and now she's a um, full power military that gained her power during the events of the, the uh, Scarlet Witch series, TV series, uh, uh, Wanda WandaVision. And so this Captain Rambo, uh, she, uh, she, has <coughs> she has some kind of resentment with Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, because she expected that she, Danvers, came back to Earth but there were some 
issues there to resolve and the the other the other uh, hero the miss marvel that's kamala khan she is a very powerful too but in a more teenage way and she's a fan eh, uh, in uh, of captain marvel in the comics in the the tv show and eh, the uh, uh, disney plus show miss marvel and now she has the opportunity to work with her figure hero hero figure yeah that's captain marvel well i think the main thing that i want to call the attention is the relationship between the three of them uh, i think that's very very important in the, the movie you know, in, the, in the superhero movies that they they were able to develop some relationship between three different people that uh, are super powerful but they have problems that they need to support one another the movie was also directed by a woman the villain is a woman i think the 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 figure of the villain is more obligatory but it was uh, a woman too so the only man the only main figure in the in the film is nick fury which has a, a part almost comic in a way i see it's very very secondary but I I it's central to the uh, the way they the three characters join together but uh, it was presented in a comic way i think it probably was very fun to for the actor to 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 play that and i think uh, many of the critics the bad critics that are there about this movie about these characters these things stranger in women has to do with the the loss of central roles for for men for superhero men and i think some some other men in the real world doesn't like the idea of being replaced of being put in a secondary place which tells us a lot about how the mentality of these men uh, works these days uh, they they don't want to to have women in central roles in society in central roles in the the workplaces central roles in politics and so on so they they like uh, they they show this frustration by uh, criticizing this kind of movie that shows this representation of women in power of powerful women in power that's very very embarrassing in a way as being a man seeing uh, how other men react to this thing i i personally like very much i i agree with this development of ideas uh, in the the fantasy world in the fiction world where they put where the women or other other kind of, of, of groups that were not historically represented in a central place i think that's very very important for culture as a whole to have this kind of thing i don't know if the movie is was or is being a successful one um maybe yes maybe no i don't know i i, th I thought was the move was too short i think mainly because of the the writers strike maybe I, i'm assuming that also uh the the actors strike in, in the united states uh helped to to to, to the move to not be <laughs> very well publicized because the, the the voices of the actors is what's mainly speaks about the movie and and there was very few uh, the strike was just over when the movie was released so uh, i think this may harm the the movie in the the box office maybe i don't know 
but I, I, I think is the the fact that the movie was short, just one hour thirty eight minutes, is a reflex of the the, the writers' strike, and yeah? I think maybe, but even so, I think the 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 story, the movie was successful in many other ways because it showed this uh, development of characters that, as for me, that was uh, already. Uh, watching the stories, the other stories that came before, I think it was very well developed and paid tribute to other other things in the universe, uh, in the Marvel universe that is very satisfactory, uh, especially the, the the things with the crossover universes. Uh, I think if you want, if you see, if you watch, you see that too. And I think that's it. That's it. I remember. I think it was very well done. And it's, uh, visually, it's, it's great. The this, the room that I was I watched the exhibition uh, had a, a defect. The the screen was shaking. It was disturbing. But it wasn't the movie. The movie was okay. The problem was the the theater where I watched. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy. For the next three weeks, we will have some reruns of videos because I will be on uh, holidays, traveling, traveling on holidays for vacation. So I hope you continue to enjoy the channel and subscribing and liking, comments and sharing, and support the channel if you can, and take a look. Uh, at my new book too eh? is this one here this book here take a look I'll put the card right there bye bye